Hey folks, it's me, Brian. This is what I'm drinking tonight. I'm having a mini from Scatterbrain. It is a peanut butter and jelly whiskey. It's a peanut butter and raspberry jelly whiskey. It's 35% alcohol by volume. This one has an elephant on it. I've had the dark cherry of vanilla. I think it had a raccoon on it. But this one has an elephant and they both have uh, glasses on. Uh, so let's crack this one open folks and I haven't made a video in quite some time I've been uh, doing quite a lot of things in my personal life but I'm back at it again with videos so here's what it looks like and I'm just telling you from pouring it it was very syrupy very thick and it doesn't have a a good whiskey appearance it's kind of uh, faint yellowish no good brown coloring let's give it a sniff I smell peanut butter not jelly though a lot of peanut butter smell now peanut butter whiskey is uh, very popular now and I guess this is their little take on it by adding the raspberry jelly all right, enough of the sniffing. Let's give it a taste. Prost, my friends. Whoa. So it has some peanut butter flavor to it, and it's very sweet, but it doesn't have the raspberry flavor that I was looking forward to. Since it said PB and J, there really isn't any J. There really isn't any jelly or jam in it. It's uh, very sweet though, probably highly uh, infused with sugar and peanut butter flavor, but not really raspberry flavor. These minis are very cheap. I've said it in my other videos, and I think they call come from all just uh, one place, one company that's based in Minnesota. And it, you know you can't expect much when you get a one dollar and twenty nine cents or ninety nine cents or one ninety nine whatever um, mini. And you you don't get much with this. It has a peanut butter taste. It's very sweet, very sticky very sticky um, cloying uh, very it, the aftertaste is pretty bad also and it has no jam or jelly or raspberry flavor at all I don't expect much again from these minis but this one I wouldn't recommend it has a peanut butter like smell and flavor but not quite if you know what I mean uh, I think if I had regular peanut butter next to it and I smelled both of them I would smell just a little distinction distinction and I think I would taste a little different so I don't think it's true peanut butter flavoring there's some natural flavoring something that's peanut butter like and um, definitely no raspberry and it has that bad aftertaste this is a this has a bad aftertaste. That's the one thing that's going to stick with me with this one. A bad aftertaste. The dark vanilla, uh, dark cherry vanilla one didn't necessarily have a bad aftertaste. It didn't have much. The vanilla had some cherry flavor. So I think when they try to do these combinations, they don't really hit the mark with one of the ingredients. And that's the case here. Uh, I'm not gonna rate this. It's a mini. I don't think you des that I don't think they deserve rating because after all there are many the whole point of it is just to try it out Stay safe stay sane, and I will see you on the next video